Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Emily, FHSU's Poet Laureate, and today we're going to delve into some poetry based on Greek mythology. And um, what you guys might not know about me is I have such a uh, <laughs> interest in myths and legends and things like that. So today we'll be looking at Leda by HD. Um, it's one I've covered for a paper I've written in a class previous, and I absolutely love it. It covers a fairly well-known Greek legend and does so beautifully. So without further ado, let's get started. Again, this is one that I do not have physical access uh, for, but I am reading it to you off of poetryfoundation.org, which is an amazing resource for poetry lovers everywhere, and I highly encourage you guys to check out this website if you love poetry as much as I do. Everything's free. You can read every poem under the sun. So let's get started. Where the slow river meets the tide, a red swan lifts red wings and darker beak and underneath the purple down of his soft breast uncurls his coral feet. Through the deep purple of the dying heat of sun and mist, the level ray of sunbeam has caressed the lily with dark breast and flecked with richer gold its golden crest. Where the slow lifting of the tide floats into the river and slowly drifts among the reeds and lifts the yellow flags he floats where tide and river meet. Ah, kingly kiss, no more regret, nor old deep memories to mar the bliss, where the low sedge is thick, the gold daylily outspreads and rests beneath the soft fluttering of red swan wings and the warm quivering of the red swan's breast. Again, that was Lita by HD, and I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!